This is the future. The future. Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel. And this is Crypt Zone, and this is Minecraft episode 20. And here we are with the grand reveal of the first part of the castle. The top tier, the royal part, is done and complete. So I'm not going to show you everything, you guys have already seen the throne room and the main house, the ballroom. I'm just going to show you guys everything else that I added in the last week. Starting off with our nice fountain. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Yes, we have a main fountain that you can look upon with some hieroglyphics and there used to be fish in here but they, like I said last time there's a glitch, my fish keep on disappearing, doesn't matter where I put them. Then going down this way, we are going to look at the servants quarters. Now the servants quarters is a communal house where there's men and women living together, of course separately. Um, I do not believe in any uh, nonsense in my place. So I built them a nice house of their own. As you walk in you have like a little uh, living room area where they can all sit and relax and chat and whatever when they're off on their days off. And then going down into the house. You will find the kitchen where they can make their own foods not too bad across from the kitchen we have a little workroom where there's a loom a note box and a map cartography table because I do believe my people should be able to maintain themselves there's a little reading corner because my workers are also educated I also have a little work area here where they can do stone cutting, repair equipment, sharpen knives, whatever they need to do. Because I don't want my direct workers to actually leave the area. They must stay where they are. Up is the living area. I have two bathrooms, one for boys, one for girls. Uh, depending on who's in which one, they can use whichever one they want. They are exactly the same as long as they don't use it together. Again. I do not take that kind of nonsense in my castle. So they've got their own bathtubs, their own space. Uh, unfortunately I just didn't add a toilet. I don't know why, but it's not there. Here we've got the bedroom for the girls. As you can see my staff, my staff complement is not much. I don't have many staff members because I don't have that big of a house. So I don't need a lot of staff members. And here's the boys. This is where the men are sleeping. So I think of this like a militaristic bungalow type setup. Okay. They can choose where they want to sleep, but as long as there's boys in one room, girls in one room, I'm happy. Okay, so this is then the servants quarters. Let's carry on now towards the um, royal garden. That's what you see out here. Um, there was a gap between the two walls and I didn't know how to fill them up, it looked hollow, so the wife suggested that we have a royal garden. And then I thought about where to put it and we decided to fill up all the empty spaces with grass. Oh, there's my treasury. As you guys can see I upgraded it a little bit to hide it and not make it so obvious. Uh, and here we go, this is the royal garden. So if the queen or whoever is bored. She can take the ladies for a nice stroll through the gardens. I put down every flower I could that I have in my inventory. Every flower. I planted everything everywhere. Mixing them up a little bit. Just so that it doesn't look too, too, you know, the same. And these vines. Oh my word. This stuff can grow extremely high. 
there were two or three that was even higher than the tower that I had to cut. So I'm not sure how high they're gonna grow eventually, but they just keep on growing. Moving up here, there was this little corner that was wasted, so I put water in there. So I made like another little water feature there. As you guys can see, I also put beehives every year, there, year and there, so I've got bees in my garden. I just need to empty out the beehives, they're full of honey. So yeah, there we still have some flowers. The trees came out nicely. I also planted one of each tree that I have, except for the ones that's growing in the area. I didn't see any point in growing, planting those trees again. I have enough of those trees. Here's another different type of pond that I build. And uh, I like this one. This is just a, a jungle vine thingy. This tree is very um, robust, very big, grows quickly. And there you see one of my bees. I have to go and empty out those beehives. They're full of honey. So that's it then for the garden. So I've got this nice big garden that goes all around the property. Well, basically all around the property. And all different kinds of flowers that you um, can get. So the, whoever's here, I can take the visitors or whoever to come and look at the garden and just relax. This is the wife's project. It was just a little cave that I had there. And then the wife decided, nah, -uh, she wants to utilize this whole place. So she broke into the mountainside, created this whole big cave system and created a little prayer corner. A little place that if you are feeling down in the dumps or you need a private place to pray, this is where it's for, what it's for. Um, she got this idea from I don't know where, but this was her little project. So I'm leaving it as is corner really I've got a big fancy chapel just up there and maybe you don't want the people to see you in the chapel so you get this little space that's private and you can hide there if you want to get away from it all and just you know have some quiet time okay moving back up we're going to go out into the um, first battlements or the first wall this is our first line of defense as you guys can see, this is the main entrance into the castle area. Nice, filled with gold to make sure they know who's boss. And then if you come up here, you are on top of the wall. You can have a nice um, view from here to see if there's anyone coming, anyone approaching. And then uh, you can also move up in the towers, which also gives you a nice 360 view of everything around you. I try to build the towers um, the correct length or distances from each other. I did a little bit of research and in the research the, they say that the rule of thumb for towers was that if you shoot a bow and arrow from the top of the tower, it has to hit the base of the second tower. That is the distance that your towers have to be from each other, otherwise you have a blind spot in your defenses. So I know this tower specifically is a bit far and um, it doesn't really conform to the rule of thumb but the first two towers in the beginning they are the correct distance. I actually tested it with a bow and arrow and I was able to shoot at the base of the tower. Or maybe you can have someone who can really really shoot very well and they can reach the distance or the other tower. So I just build these towers all around and they are all exactly the same. You know, you've seen one tower, you've seen them all. Okay, let's go on into the inside of the wall. So the wall is not solid. This wall is hollowed out. For a simple reason, you can have soldiers on the inside shooting outwards. Now I know I didn't make any open spaces yet. That I will do when I'm finished with everything. Then I'll look at the castle defenses. I was thinking of making openings every year and there for the army to be able to shoot out. But the main reason for this long hallway or for the inside is so that if the royal family is threatened, there is a way into this hallway and I can guide them out to a secret exit where they can exit the castle without being seen. So this is where there's a secret door, which I'm not going to show you guys now because I still have to build it. But that's going to be the secret escape route. 
for the kings and queens and family to be able to escape the area unseen. It goes into a massively, massively deep underground cavern system and I'm going to build a rail system from there that goes to second house. And then there will also be another railway going to second house or maybe the marketplace from here on the normal, the normal ways. This is then our steps down that will go into our second part or second tier of the place. The castle will continue from this point on forward with the barracks, the hospitals, the marketplaces and all that kind of stuff. So yeah guys, this was then the total build of the first almost about two weeks that I've been building, two, three weeks. And this is then the upper part of the castle where the royal family lives and the throne room is and the chapel and all that. It turned out quite massively, it turned out very, very good I think. Um, I think a little bit cluttered, but I still think this looks really awesome. And I can't wait to finish the second tier. Thank goodness I'm done with this bloody black building because the black is so difficult to build with. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you can get notified of the next upload and the next build. So until next time guys, whatever you are doing, keep it safe. Until next time, cheers.